Um, our, our, our biggest uh, windfall in the last year has been money from the government for um, working with our seniors. We did not have a, we had a seri seniors program set up and uh, working right now in the old Scotia Bank in Beechburg um, to service the whole of our township and uh, that, that location being in the center. Um, the government was instrumental in providing funds to provide with the task force to um, get this going and um, that is certainly something that we want to keep going on in the future and not to let get away on us. So when you talk to the minister in charge, um, you thank them very much for their, for their support and uh, you welcome their continued support. But that's, that's our biggest one right now is um, we are a seniors community. Um, when you go by our numbers, and um, of course we haven't got the new numbers yet, and we hope to get them soon from StatsCan. Um, until we get the new numbers, we're not really 100% sure, but um, uh, we were around 35% senior-based in our community, so that's a large population, and uh, majority still living in their homes, so that it's time to get them support. Whitewater has a couple of seniors' homes, but this funding would be aimed at supporting those still living at home. And with the senior population growing, the need for support does as well. Well, the money would be used for um, rent and a program support counselor, uh, namely a nurse at this point, and anything else that would require investigation at that time. Um, we are piggybacking with other organizations, so we don't have to reinvent the wheel, um, but it still takes time and takes money. Infrastructure was also a hot topic of discussion with upgrades to the wastewater system in Cobden being a big budget item. We did. We talked extensively on our, our $12.6 million upgrade to our uh, water facility down here along the lake, uh, wastewater in particular. Um, the new building is up and running in test mode at this point and it only took seven years to get that facilitated. Um, thank you to the government for paying $6.6 .6 million of it. Uh, taxpayers pay the rest, but we are also looking at expanding or making upgrades to the Beechburg water filtration system, um, namely storage tanks, so the government has come across with that as well. Um, but in future, there will be more in future to come as we expand. Sidewalks might seem like a small item, but they can be costly. A few major projects are coming up in the next few years in Foresters Falls. Um, that's our next project next year. Uh, one of our hamlets, Forsters Falls, will be getting a new county road going through their village and uh, we will be replacing all the sidewalks. And the year after that is actually the dam at Forsters Falls, so we're going to be involved in that as well. So there's lots coming up. The council says they will continue to advocate to the province and when they can get in front of ministers to make sure that the top priority items are brought to the table. According to the 2016 census, the region had a population of just over 7,000 people, so government support is instrumental in completion of many of the larger projects that the council takes on. Reporting for Coachco News, I'm Trevor Riley.